The first topic we have to treat for our week one, which is understanding film, cinema, and literature. But before we proceed, please hit the like button and at the same time, please do subscribe to that channel. It is very, very key. That is the means I will be sending your assignment. So you have to, to listen or probably watch the video. So understanding film, cinema, and literature. What do we mean by this? We are trying to give a definite meaning to these three different concepts. The concept of film, cinema, and literature. So we'll start first with the word film. Film is also called a movie or a motion picture. Yes, we can refer to it as a, a movie or a motion picture. But it instance or as these courses are required, film is very different from the everyday film we all get to come by, by going to the cinema or by way of seeing it on our laptops or by way of seeing it on our YouTube channels or even all the short clips that are comedy inclined. Film is very different from that. We see film here as an image which is projected by light shining through a corresponding series of images arranged on a continuous band of flexible material. And according to one name, a defined film as a series of motionless images projected onto a screen so fast as to create in the mind of anyone watching the screen as an impression of a continuous motion. I'll break this down for you guys to be able to understand. And what the, does uh, one way name mean by this? One way name that find the word film as a series of motionless images. Something has to come to your mind at this point to say, what is a motionless image? It simply means those still pictures you get to take from time to time. Those still pictures you take with friends. Those still pictures you take alone. Those selfies you take alone are motionless. Or are they moving? No, they aren't. So by the time they are being projected onto a screen so fast, as to create in the mind of anyone watching the screen as an impression of what a continuous motion it means those still images are actually being taken in multiple folds you've taken it you've taken nothing less than say 24 four shots or 23 shots with the same outfit different posture in the same environment do you understand let me take that again you've been able to to take that picture with the same outfit in the same environment with a different posture Let's take, for instance, you are taking a step-by-step -step, uh, movement. If you're taking the first step and you take the shot, you take the second step with your hands up, you take another shot. You take the next step uh, by way of running with another, with your hands pointed to the ground, another shot. And take, for instance, you're taking this different shot, uh, on a different, uh, this different shot like 24 or 25 times. And you fast-forward this shot. It's going to give you something like a motion picture. Because you're trying to run it in sequence the moment you fast forward it. So take for instance, you have a flip book. There's what is called a flip book. Try and check for the word in Google or probably check for it on YouTube. Flip book. It is spelled F-L-I-P, then the word book. If you run a flip book, a flip book is also a still images. But by the time it is being run, selfly run by you, then it appears to you as if it is a form of what? It is a form of motion. So, Mama also defined the word film as uh, something that is made up of series of still photographic images. We are also reiterating the same thing here. So, one way he also explains further that to understand film on its own, one needs to understand the process of illusion of motion, also known as what? Persistence of vision. It is, however, imperative for you to know that the industry standard for projection and shooting a film is 24 individual frames per second. When we say per second, those still pictures I ask you guys to take differently. By the time you run it at 24 frames per second, a particular still picture is referred to as a frame. By the time you run this frame per second, 24 of these frames per, sec per second is going to appear to you as a form of motion. That is going to run in form in form of a successive motion. Go back to the word flip book again. Check for it on YouTube. Then you can be able to understand uh, what I'm what I'm referring to. So when a series of frames are also projected, the illusion of motion is what is achieved. So this illusion appeals only to the eyes. When we say it appeals only to the eyes, it is the persistence of a vision or retinal retention, uh, which is unable to distinguish the separate images. By the time your, retain, your, your retina is unable to uh, distinguish between these images, it means, yes, 
it has actually appealed to use as what as a motion some see it as magic but it is not because you're actually running it at what 24 frames per session uh, per, per second the next one is cinema what do we mean by cinema cinema is actually what a movie theater let us see it it is largely attributed to the word what a movie theater but professionally some people see the cinema as an industry while some see it as a business and why do we see it as an industry an example is the nollywood we have the Nollywood and we have the Hollywood too as well. And Nollywood itself is a, is the movie industry, is a cinema industry in Nigeria, which is for Nollywood. We have the uh, we have the Bollywood for Indian movies. We have the Hollywood for the American movies. All of these are referred to as what as industry. But when it comes to business, the likes of J1, the J15 production by Femi Adebayo, the likes of uh, uh, Sin 1 production by Funke Akidele as one of the CEOs, simply means they have been able to take the act of cinema as what? As a form of making movies, as a form of business. Making the movies is as a form of business. Because but but, by the time they are done making these movies, what do they do? They sell. Or probably put it online people subscribe and at the same time watch it via youtube channels by the time you get to see this on youtube and you're watching they are deducting your data and data that data is remitted to the account of the channel owner or probably remitted to the account of uh, youtube itself who will in turn pay the owner of the channels so mora 2012 asserts that cinema or motion picture is the art of moving images too as well Mind you, we've been saying one thing uh, uh, over and over, still photography, moving images, still images. But this time when it comes to cinema, we are referring to the word of what? The art of moving images, a visual medium that tells stories and exposes reality. Movies like uh, King of Boys exposes the reality of how the rich or how the politicians make use of thugs in rigging electoral processes or probably make use of thugs for their own personal gains. You uh, the, the 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 movie Banana Island also shows how banks are ready to to sell off somebody's house be because they can actually pay up uh the money they are in banks irrespective of the fact that that person is trying so hard to do so. There is no pity anyway. So movies or cinemas exposes what reality. So this therefore implies that cinemas are moving pictures or the process of what of film making. The last one is a literature. There's no definite definition of the word literature. But however, some people have been able to attribute it to the fact that it is a record of what best thoughts. Literature, like we all know, is applied when you start having instances like prose, prose poem. It's also applicable to, to videos, uh, television, radio, CDs, computers, newspapers. Literature can be carried out in all of these forms. It is not only in books alone. It is not only on black and white alone, but the form of ideation or a form of entertainment, relaxation, information, uh, education, and so on and so forth. Literature is being applied to all of these genres. So we'll see. So we can see literature as what as something that is as old as human language and as new as tomorrow's sunrise. It is as old as new human language because people have been doing it over and over, over time. We've been speaking the same language over and over. The dialect, the language itself, has been passed to us from generation uh, to generation. We can see it as a form of transmission of cultural heritage from one generation to the other. And it is as new as tomorrow's sunrise. It becomes uh, tomorrow's sunrise because it, a literature could actually be a new form of ideation that has been uh, checked upon or that has been uh, worked upon over time before it becomes something that can be consumed by the society. Literature like music, it's a form of idea, someone coming up with a particular type of music that appeals to some group of people in the society. So here are a few such uh, of uh, literature definition. One, it is a record of the best thoughts. When we say record of the best thoughts, it simply refers to the fact that thought could actually be music, thought could be videos, thought could be scripts, thought could be idea, thought could be culture, thought could even be tradition of trying to, to make amends, preach, and at the same time, make resolute contribution to the society that can be of benefit to the society. So it is a, it's a record of what? Of the best thought. The second one is the written thought and feelings of intelligent men and women arranged in a way that shall give pleasure to the reader. What do we mean by this? Most of us actually read novels. And where does this idea of novels come from? It is coming from an individual. It could be a man or a woman. So 
And who are these men and women? They are not they are not from heaven. They actually pen down their thoughts or feelings about how a scenario could actually play. We can see novels, Lion and, and the Jewel by Wally Shoinka as a tomorrow sunrise. Do we understand? And the next one is written works with artistic values, written works, e.g. such as fiction, poetry, drama, criticism that are recognized as giving importance or permanent artistic values. Another one is body of written works. The body of written works of culture, language, people, or a period of time. So all of these things appeal to what? To, to the human conscience. By the time you see the history of the Yoruba people, we, we can attribute to the fact that it is a literary work, or the history of the Igbos, or the culture, the language, or the people, or how they were able to live their time over a particular period of time. If we, we are able to have it in form of black and white, have it in sound being recorded, have it in videos, being clips being viewed by people, then we see it as what well as a form of literature. The next one is writings on subjects or the body of a published work concerned with a particular subject, such as, uh, such as uh, scientific uh, literature. I made mention of the word uh, astronomy the other time. Uh, hardly will you get to see somebody who tells you happenings in the space. What is happening above us? What is happening in the skies? But if we get to see it, it becomes something uh, unimaginable and we, we are draw closer to it to be able to, to get meanings out of it. Like, okay, uh, for, for further information about what is actually happening above us or this coronavirus of a thing that is invisible. If we get to see someone write about it or there's a video about it, majority of us want to see down, see the clips and actually watch it on how to be careful of uh, the virus. The next one is the body of music. So this will actually be uh, music notes, piano, jitter, and so on and so forth. So then uh, another one is, uh, another definition of literature is printed information. When you have brochures, materials, notes, uh, textbooks, and so on and so forth. So, so, so the next one is a production of literary works. The creation of liter literary works, especially as an art of what? Occupation. People will refer to this as an art of uh, uh, literary works, uh, those who write novels, literary works such as uh, uh, music, the likes of whiskey, they're actually taking their own music as a form of literary works, as their own occupation. Same thing for the video, same thing for Alamide, and so on. So etymologically, the word literature comes from the root word, what? Literate, which means able to read and what? Write. Able to do what? Read and write. But however, it is way different from this. And, uh, 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 in so far, it has to do with something creative. In so far, it appeals to the human mind. In so far, it is something out of the bloom. Then we can refer to it as what? As a form of literature. So therefore, literature is a spoken and written or an artistic medium that uses language, plot, characters, settings, costumes, etc. to give a picture of what life looks like. It is a subject that mirrors life. And we looked at what the similarities between film and literature. So literature shares with film the ability to employ the structures and devices of uh, narrative sequences of images on screen told a story. And this is equivalent to the sequences of words on page. So the use of language in film established firmly the connections of what to connect the connections of literature. Well, there is no way you talk about film without actually talking about words. Because these words actually come from the scripts. These uh, artists or actors and actresses get to read. It, it gives them the direction, the sense of direction, how they expected to act. The next one is a film. Just like in literature, present action, images, words, replicating what? Life. By the time you have this script being written, we see it as a form of literature. But by the time it gets to a film, and we become uh, from emotionless image to a motion picture. They refer to it as what? As a film. So the literary work here is being appreciated. While literature works also, uh, literature works also have a stylistic and thematic basis in realistic presentation of characters and incidents. We have words like Act 1, Scene 2, uh, Act 1, Scene 3, Act 2, Scene 1, and so on and so forth, telling us the sequences in all of this movie. So theater initially seemed nearest to film. Yes, because of the common use of actors and sets. So critics at this point agree that films have a stronger affinity with fiction, especially with the pronounced emphasis on narrative. Let me take it again. Critics agree that films have a stronger affinity with fiction, 
especially with a pronounced emphasis on narrative. Both of them, both film and literature, are trying to narrate a story, story are trying to tell a story. Both film and, uh, and literature are trying to, to replicate what reality is all about. So we can refer, we can see the, uh, the similarities here. So another similarity between film and literature is that it, uh, film draws from the tradition of live theater, which includes techniques of staging, lighting, movement, and gesture. From the novel, film draws from structure, characterization, uh, characterization, themes, and also what point of view. In a, in a, in film or in theater, we're able to have something that is known as light. We have settings, we have movement, we have gestures, and so on. So, but for film, draws from the tradition of live theater. And what do we mean by drawing from the tradition of live theater? In live theater, it could be in the afternoon. A live theater could actually be staged in the afternoon, where they don't have to need, where they do not need light for them to be able to 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 to, to do their acting with their actors and actresses on stage. But for film, they need light for them to be able to achieve that sense of uh, uh, nature in their production, that sense of uh, a reality in their production. So. I will talk about characterization, theme, and also point of view. Film will actually need to look at a uh, point of view from the, the camera angles. How am I going to take this? And that is expected of what the likes of uh, the directors, uh, from film producers like uh, Adebayo Tijani, and so on. So another one is that both writers and filmmakers use language or languages. And mind you, for film, film speak in languages of neologisms. Please take note of this. Film speak in languages of what? In language of what? Neologism. So both viewers and filmmakers use language. Uh, both writers and filmmakers, that is both literature, uh, literary writers and filmmakers use, make use of what? Language or languages. So... In film, they make use of language by way of speaking. In literature, they make use of language by way of writing. So popular film developed with the emergence of the 18th century, which is novel. Both the 18th century novel and film relied heavily upon what? Realism as a technique. So everybody wants, even if you're reading a novel, you try as much as possible to conceptualize what you're reading. Give it a, a scene in your head. So which is why uh, a, movie, a, a novel being read by Zainab could actually be interesting to Zainab and not be appealing to Amina. Do we understand? A novel read by Fad could be appealing to Fad and at the same time not appeal to Arafa. Do we understand now? So for film, film is developed, uh, film is, is developed and literary work are actually developed to achieve what the word what realism. So for from poetry, film also draws what? Draws from an understanding of metaphor, symbolism and other literary tropes. So we've all heard of the word metaphors, symbolism, and so on in our secondary school. So uh, the, the, the last one, which is on the similarities, the basic structural units of the novel are replicated in film. We have units. In the novel, we have the word, the sentence, paragraph, chapter, and the entire novel. Yes. And in film, we have frame, we have the shot, we have the scene, and sequence. So the word in literature and the image in film are similar in so far as they are visual phenomena. So both perceived within what? Both perceived with what? With the eyes. So in novel, we have the, as we have in the novel, the novel where you have the word, the sentence, uh, the paragraph, chapter, and then the entire novel. So we also have, so we do also have in film too as well, as the scene, the shots, the sequence, and as well what? The frame. So the difference aren't much. Uh, while film uses celluloid and camera to communicate, literature uses what? Pen and paper. We all know what the, the word camera is all about. Celluloid are actually uh, the tapes or the film in, uh, they use, uh, the, the likes of uh, Kodak films and so on. So the next one is uh, the film is multisensory communal experience emphasizing immediacy, while literature is a monosensory private experience that is more conduct. Uh, conductive towards the reflection. So here, film uh, is a communal experience. It means anybody can see it. And it's emphasized on immediacy because you can actually get the same message the same way I'm doing. While for literature, it is monosensory private experience because you are, you are the only one reading the novel. At this point, you are the only one doing what? The reading. So the next one is a film. A film is usually viewed in others' presence 
will become a larger part of the film's experience. And that is when you get to have uh, things like cinema. So each audience member acknowledges the presence of the others. So audience response can also affect the perception of what of a film. While a novel is typically a private experience, so we are reiterating the same thing again, a novel is what is typically a private experience in which the relationship between the author and the reader is then established. And their relationship is also what is also relative. It is direct and at the same time immediate. But meanwhile, the author, it is over a trust which is possible to create a... Uh, the image in the head of the reader, while the reader will come up with uh, a, a different scene about what the author is also trying to say, but at the same time they are also trying to what pass the same message. In as much as uh, there is no words being used that are too cumbersome or not understandable by by the reader, then they they both share the same uh, perspective towards what they are reading or towards what the author has or has actually written. So the last one is film is a branch of literature. So as literature embraces the whole lot of what of film. So film is what is a branch of literature. So as literature embraces the whole lot of film. So film can be referred to as a branch of literature on its own. The act of even making a movie is also literary because you are tr actually trying to bring in reality into it, trying to bring in uh, tomorrow's sunrise into it, trying to bring in the human language that has been uh, as, uh, uh, that, that has been so so long in use into reality. So with that, we can see film as what well, as a branch of literature on its own. The next one is film focuses on visual literacy, while literature is verbal literacy. What do we mean by this? I'll be quick with this. Film focus on visual literacy by a form of uh, appealing to to the views of people, appealing to the senses of people appealing to what individual can actually conceive of what they are actually viewing, pass, uh, appeals to the perception of, uh, of people about a particular image. So film focuses on visual literacy. So how I'm going to perceive a particular film could actually be different from the way you do. And for literature, literature is what? A verbal literacy. It means for someone to be able to enjoy a novel by Wale Shoika, you can't take for a... a, 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 a a hundred level student reading a novel by Wally Shoika to understand it the same way a professor will understand it. Do we understand that? So that will be all for today's lecture. And our assignment for this week, our assignment is to spot or give the differences and the similarities between film and cinema. The differences and similarities between film and cinema please make sure you type it and send it to your Telegram channel. And I want the assignment before our next class or before our next discussion. Thank you very much for your time. Please make sure you stay out of trouble. Stay indoors. Coronavirus is real. And please make sure you stay indoors. It is very important. Thank you very much for your time.